Hey guys, here we got another intense match, and this time with the only marksman that is also considered an assassin, Leslie. After her first kill got buff, now one shot of her can lower a squishy target to half HP or more, and since her first kill is true damage, you can go full raw damage, and that's enough to penetrate everyone. There's no need to build physical penetration items at all. I was a bit confused why Selena was not helping the jungler take the buff, but perhaps she has a master plan in mind. It was a great plan after all. Cecilia is one of the weakest mages for ganking in the early game, so not much we can do even when he rotates so early. Unfortunately, it seems like that first blood Alucard got is gonna be wasted. I haven't seen their tank for a while, I thought there was a good chance he was lurking around here. Oof, I misplayed this one so badly. But that's okay, your spicy thing's up. But then I saw Freya completely dominating her lane, and that's when I realized that the same Freya that was in my previous match, and she was also dominating her lane in that one. In the previous match, I was doing extremely well. I kept up playing the opponents. At one point, I had 20 kills, 1 death, and 16 assists. I was doing absolutely everything I could to get that victory. But then we kept having bad fights, one after another. It seems like we didn't know how to move back and not let Camilla's ult affect all of us. This lord was supposed to be the one to finally seal the game. Masha, wizard jungler, is dead. We should have this one in the back. Karina got stunned by the lord. Smiley face. The final icy on the cake is that we decide to take the fight outside of the base. So after realizing that she is the same Freya, I decide to not repeat the same mistake and allow her to win again. Well, 
our mage decided to clear the marksman lane. Good stuff. Gonna see if my ult can reach Irithel. So unlucky. At least we managed to take down their marksman, which is almost as good as taking down their jungler. But their fray is definitely getting out of hand, just getting extremely fed on the bot lane. Things are starting to look quite dicey. Don't blink. It seems like history will repeat. We might lose two matches in a row with Leslie. What a team fight. We really need to win that fight and luckily I didn't die either. But at the same time, Freyos keeps getting kills and free farming non-stop. Aluka is definitely respected by the opponents and feared by teammates. But honestly, he probably might just be having a bad game or just tired, like his name suggests. Meanwhile, the Freya is pushing freely. Not sure what happened to the fourth bullet. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think in one of the recent updates, they made the change that when you are far enough, you can escape from Leslie Old. She is so fed that she had no problem going 1v2. If we don't farm fast enough, then I start snowballing very soon. I had a hunch somebody was camping in the bush. Don't 
This Alucard is garbage. <laughs> Even their Karina is getting out of control. Give Lucard a kill so we can get more gold off him. Now they're treating him like Diggy. I need to get fed fast if we want to even have a chance to turn the tide. We failed the gang, chasing here will be a mistake. Now each Leslie shot will not feel like you got hit by a bullet, but will most likely feel like getting fully thrusted by her whole rifle, especially if they are showing their backs. Tang or not, does it matter, they will feel the same amount of pain. I tried to do too much, XD. I saw Freya coming from the bot lane. It might be tempting to Teddy Lore here, but without our jungler, that will be a huge gamble, especially when their jungler is still alive. Alright, now I should be a free lord. Maybe sometimes, it's better to have a rough start, so the team doesn't get too complacent and make better in-game decisions during the team fight. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching, see ya.